From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hello and welcome to another episode of Ropecast. Hi, Roger. Hi, Hi. Peter. How are you? Um, yeah, well, I'm fine, but I'm, hmm, I'm kind of stuffed. I just had a hamburger before I got into the studio right. <laughs> at McDonald's. But actually, uh, greasy hamburgers isn't their biggest problem, I think. What is? <laughs> Did you know that McDonald's has a grammar problem? A grammar problem? You better watch out for their lawyers. <laughs> um, well, they won't be listening to our little, well, probably a famous podcast by now. But no, getting back to McDonald's, you know the slogan, I'm loving it? Yeah. What's your problem with it? But that should be, I love it. Because, you know, I'm loving it is a continuous form, and that is used for doing something right now. At, and love basically cannot be used in a continuous form form can it why not if you're loving it right now if you're okay but in there but in the moment their idea was was to to sort of make you say well i love it all the time mcdonald's is great not is being great but it's much more emotional if you say oh i'm loving it you got to explain this to me i think it's it's the feeling you get the strength of feeling uh-huh this is could you, could you give me some other examples for that type well, of usage of, of the continuous form? Because I, you know, it really puzzled me. Why did they use that slogan? I sort of had the idea, yeah, here's these million dollar ad campaigns and they come up with a wrong grammar. No, if I, if I knew you were doing a new job, mm -hmm. you'd started some time ago. Okay. And I, um, I asked you, well, how's it going? Yeah. And you could also say, I'm loving it. Oh, yeah, I think I heard that. Yeah. I think I heard that. But here's what. Um, I've heard American teenagers say it that way, but I think they would add something. The word so. Yes. They, they would say something like, ooh, I'm so enjoying this, or I'm, or, or, well, negatively, this is so not doing it for me. <laughs> yes, I've That's heard sort of, things like that. Okay, I get it. Yeah, you mentioned negative examples. Yeah. I think the strength of emotion can also lead to negative examples of the continuous form that you were referring to just now. Uh-huh. Like, like, for example? If I say to you, ah, she always cleans the house. Uh-huh. She's always cleaning the house. Do you get any idea about the difference? Yeah, yeah, there is a difference. She always cleans the house is, well, that's, that's that might be referring to our cleaning woman yeah. who does this for a living. Right. Whereas she's always cleaning the house would probably not be the cleaning woman no. <laughs> because I'm complaining about it. Exactly. Something that's bugs my, you. That's, that's sort of your paranoid wife going around and sort of dusting off everything about three times a day. <laughs> yeah, if you like, yeah. <laughs> Ah, okay. And that's, well, that's that's true. Same thing. It's an emotional use yes. of the continuous present form that's it. in English. Well, let me say something very emotional here. Um, I am enjoying this podcast a lot with you. Thank you. But I fear that we must be going now. <laughs> I think we should. <laughs> so let's say goodbye to our listeners. Bye, and we will be seeing you soon. Bye. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial. You know, Peter, I think you still don't get it. That is so not true. Huh.